that. We'll miss that one. <laughs> What's the best word, boys and girls? Oh, that's right. Here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. <laughs> works. Now listen, don't call me, all right? Ma, don't call me. I'll check in with you every hour, all right? All right. Be careful. Bye. You should be with them. I can't leave work, Ray. Well, you can't stay here either. Benson. I hope you like lasagna. Mm. Oh. So, how was your day? Fine, thank you. Oh. Well, why don't you come over here and wash up? You know, it's going to take me a while to get it just how you like it. It's delicious. You haven't tried it yet. Mmm. Really? Mm. You know, because I just think it's very important that we be honest with each other right from the start. It's perfect. Oh, good. You know, you're always honest. I know that. But you're always polite, too. So sometimes I can't know if you're being honest or, you know, you're being polite. If I babble too much, you have to tell me. No, no, no. No, I mean, yes. I mean, yes, I will. But no. Keep talking. Okay. So, um, what are we going to talk about tonight? Anything you'd like. When I'm with my friends, my girlfriends, we talk about, you know, skincare products and things like that. But, uh. Well, that sounds interesting. No. I read enough magazines to know that, uh,. You know, with each guy, you you talk about what he's interested in. I see. So, um, how about that Iditarod, huh? Which Iditarod? Franny, pick up. I'm afraid you wanted to have a phone. This is so nice. So different from home. I mean, we're halfway through dinner and you haven't even yelled once yet. Well, no. I could really get used to this politeness stuff. You know, sometimes I think it would actually be better if married people treated each other like strangers. Well, that may be. But it doesn't follow, therefore, that strangers would be better off if they treated each other as if they were married. I love it when you're logical. You're pretty much gonna like anything I say, aren't you? Anything.
You know, Frage, Sin skincare products are an area that I'm familiar with. I did manage to get rid of that uh, harsh Mountie issue soap you were using. I didn't realize it was harsh. Oh, yeah. In our climate, that really dries out your skin. Really? Yeah. I mean, you have to end up buying, like, two different kinds of moisturizers to compensate for the dryness and the pollution in the air, and then you... I smell you something burning. Oh, my God, the Pear Zilin. No, it's not that. Downstairs. <laughs> I'll have you out in a second. I called it in. Hey. You're leaving town. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Thank you. Okay, we found these and this, a sophisticated incendiary device. Vecchio, it was a fire. Let arson handle it. What'd you find? Everything you asked for. And? Well, when you read these old Carver files, it really seems that the prosecution's case was pretty thin. There was no record of any previous criminal activity. Um, it was a very tenuous motive. And yet the jury found him guilty. Well, it all came down to that missing heel from Carver's shoe that Ray found at the scene. I mean, that and the intensity of Ray's testimony. Now, Ray found the heel after the arson investigators had been over the scene? Yes, but we were able to explain that because the investigators had been called away. I mean, they hadn't really completed their investigation. So it was possible that they could have missed it. You don't sound entirely convinced. He's your friend. Yes. You work with him? Yes. Oh, did you ever see him knock down a door without a warrant? Rough up a suspect a little too much? Are you suggesting he stepped over the line? <sighs> I don't know, Benton. I just remember that he was so worked up over this case. At the time, it just seemed like a situation of someone going the extra mile. You know, real crackerjack police work. Hey, Angie. Hi, Elaine. Are you here to see Ray? No. Is this place all right? I wasn't sure when you said you wanted to talk. No, it seems perfectly fine. Good. You know, we could have a drink. Doesn't have to be just business. No, no. Um, uh, yes. I mean, uh, well, actually, uh, the fact of the matter is I, I do have some questions I'd like to ask you. About Ray? Yes, about Ray. You were Ray's partner when you left the force, weren't you? I was sick of police work. The lousy hours, bad food, the scuzzy people that you meet. Such as